Um, my first introduction to games and sports as a child would have been when I was a kid and I would have played football in the back garden with my dad and my siblings. Um, as I got a bit older I played netball in primary school and secondary school um, and then when I was about 14 my local Gaelic football club uh, started a ladies team which I'd never played before but I joined and uh, I'm, I'm still playing to this day. My background is in maths, um, so I've always loved maths from a really early age. Uh, my parents both did maths at college also, um, so I had a lot of encouragement there from them and support. Eventually, whenever I left college, I still didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I ended up going to a load of jobs fairs, um, exploring my different options on both sides, and eventually I did, went to one job fair in Dublin, and when I was researching the companies beforehand, uh, I noticed the quants job at Paddy Power, and for the first time I thought this is a job Job that something that I would be really really interested in and think I would enjoy so I went to the jobs fair uh, spoke to HR there and um, applied for the role and five years later I'm still there so I'm currently working as the head of modeling and innovation in uh, the risk and trading department at Paddy Power Betfair and um, so my team are responsible for creating a lot of the sports and risk models that the trading team use on a daily basis so what we do is we use huge amounts of sports and betting data and um, to look for trends in the data to try and put the most accurate odds on sites and, and try and get them as correct as possible in terms of the day-to-day -day role uh, it, it's based a lot around logical thinking uh, and problem solving so that is something we value whenever we whenever we hire uh, we don't necessarily need people to be super technical um, though even though our role involves coding it's something you can learn on the job I actually didn't even know what coding was whenever I joined uh, Paddy Power Betfair so that was a bit of uh, a very steep learning curve but it's actually something that I really enjoy about my job now uh, I love being able to code and it's always something that you can learn more at and you can always learn um, how to do new things. So I think the problem isn't necessarily rooted around women not wanting to join the industry um, or that people don't want to hire women. I think that the biases tend to be uh, based around societal norms and stereotypes around what career choices um, people can make. From a very young age, girls are bought uh, dolls or kitchen sets or tiaras, whereas boys are bought toy cars or science kits. Um, that continues then on to, into school, wherever boys are, tend to be pushed towards um, STEM subjects and girls are tend to lean towards the arts and humanities. So what we really need to do is try and focus more on encouraging young girls to study these subjects from a young age. So I think diversity is really important uh, from both a pers uh, from both a personal and a professional perspective. To me though, diversity is more than just ticking a box and um, saying we've, we've hired X amount of women this year. Uh, to me, inclusion is really important. Uh, I was at a leadership conference there uh, about a year ago and uh, there was one guy presenting that gave a quote to say that diversity is like being invited to the party, whereas inclusion is being asked to dance. Um, and I think it's not just important to get more women in the door, it's important to make sure that the workplace is welcoming and inclusive and it makes women feel valued. I would advise women to talk to other women in the industry or in the company they'd like to work for to get an idea of what the culture is and if it's a good fit. I'm fortunate to work for a company that does have a good culture and a positive attitude towards diversity and towards women. I'd also say be confident in yourself. Um, you got hired because you deserve to be there. Um, it can be intimidating being one of the few women in the office, um, but at the same time, um, don't be afraid to express your opinion. Don't be afraid to bring your own personal style to the table. And most importantly, just be yourself.